Hello everyone. Welcome to the next class on the distribution function. Today we will discuss about what is the mean and variance of the hypergeometry distribution. So first of all we should know that what is the hypergeometry distribution under what condition this hypergeometry distribution will work over the binomial Poisson and other distributions. Myself Dr. Garg working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute India. You can contact me either of my email IDs are there or you can simply follow this link. So what are the basic assumptions that which needs to be satisfied before applying this hypergeometric distribution? So basically there are the two conditions. One is basically depending upon that whatever the result you have obtained after performing an experiment is classified into only the two mutually exclusive. That is either the success or the failure. That is the also assumption which is uh, which needs to be satisfied by all the other distributions such as the binomial distribution, Poisson distribution, geometric distribution and so on that we already discussed uh, in our last lectures are there. So the first assumption was that uh, whatever the results you have performed they are uh, classified into the two mutually exclusive that is a pass or fail, success or failure and so on. And the another assumption that is most important that the probability of the success is changes over the each experiment. But if you think about the binomial distribution, Poisson distribution, geometric and all that, that is a constant with respect to the each experiment. Here the geometry is hypergeometry distribution is applicable when the probability is changes over the time. Also if you look about the problem whenever there is a statement related to the without replacement if you say this are this so your bag and there are some balls are there, so they are blue ball. Uh, there are some red balls and there are some black balls are there and if you want to pick any pick some balls without the replacement then the distribution corresponding to such type of problem is called as the hypergeometric uh, distribution. Any random variable x is said to be the hypergeometric what is the meaning is that suppose n is my population size and m is my number of the success what is the meaning is if I have the n total number of the experiments out of the total number of the experiments how many success are there m how many failures are there n minus m and out of this total number of the experiments how many experiments we just want to calculate we just want to draw the number of the experiments as n out of this n how many satisfied this condition so i assume they are the k and out of and the uh, remaining n minus k are my failure so based on this uh, tree diagram you can simply define the uh, hypergeometric distribution as mck that is mck of this n minus mc of this divided by the total is ncn. So look at that this is mck where this bracket notation for the binomial coefficient like ncr. So where k varies from 0 to n. So based on this we can calculate the mean and the variance of this. So how you can calculate the mean and variance all of you know that what is the definition of the mean is. So if your pmf is here then you can start from the mean of this this is k of this so i can substitute the value of p of this like here i can substitute the value this here now since this is the k so i can open this mck so what is the mck so i can write this as m factorial upon k factorial into m minus k factorial so since it is multiplied with k also so i can open this as m m minus 1 factorial k k minus 1 factorial of m minus k factorial or else you can also write this as m by k so what is the what is the portion of this I can write this also as m minus 1 k minus 1 so I can expand this term I can expand this term like here you can see this is the expression for the mck and what is the ncn is you can see that ncn is nothing but my here mcm is here so I can expand like this way so from here you can see that k will be cancelled out. So once k will be cancelled out now the factorial is k minus 1 so automatically this limit will change. So you can see that the limit is changed here. Out of that this portion is constant with respect to k and this portion is constant with respect to k that I taken outside. Now this is here. Now since k is start from the 1 but we need a k as a 0 so I can take k minus 1 as a x. So what is the limit of the x is? So what is the limit of the x when k is equal to 1 it's a 0 when k is equal to n the x will be my n minus 1 so I can substitute the value here you will get the required result m minus 1 of this 
what is the value of the k you can get from here is k is nothing but my x plus 1 you can substitute the value of here now what is the value of this so look at that if since this is a pmf so what you can say that the sum of this is nothing but my 1 here what is the case over the domain so look at that here is n minus 1 here is x minus 1 sorry this is n minus 1 so since this is my pmf so the sum of this will be 1 so hence this will be the mean of the hypergeometric distribution similarly we can follow the variance of this so since variance we know that variance formula is this how you define the e of x here so this is can be written as e of x of this now i can we all know that e of the x plus y is nothing but e of x plus e of y so i can consider this as my x and this as my y so i can write here now i can substitute the value of the mean so that is n m by capital n so i can substitute the value here now the question arises is what is the value of this once we know this value we can easily calculate the mean so i can calculate by start from here again we can substitute the value of their probability in, in terms of this now i can expand m c k now here is m into k into k minus 1 so i can use the relation as we derived previous n c r is nothing but n by r of this so based on this we can define up to the k into k minus 1 so i can use this result here so we can substitute this value up to here so what is that this is here now again you can see this value is my n minus 2 once sorry uh, this is my n so now again uh, once you take k minus 2 here as a x because now the limits are start from the 2 so therefore what is the limit when k is equal to 2 is a 0 what is the limit when n is this is n minus 2 so we can substitute the value again in this expression you can see this value of k is x plus 2 this value is nothing but x and so on the limit will change from n minus 2 again since the n is again n minus 2 and he here again this sum is nothing but my 1 as a pmf so this result will be my here so i can substitute this value into this so you will get as a here so i can substitute here after simplify you will get this expression or or in order to simplify more i can write this n square one for this and this this one so this is the variance of this hypergeometric distribution in order to find the some special case or you can see the summary if you have the pmf of this the mean will be n m by n and the variance will be here and the most important remark is the hypergeometric distribution tends to the binomial distribution provided the number of the experiments conducted to be infinite and m by n is nothing but p all of you know that this is my binomial distribution and what is the domain of the x is my 0 to infinity so n must be infinity m by n is the probability which is a constant here so you can see if i take m by n as a p so this will goes to the np so this will goes to the np 1 minus p what will happen if n approaches infinity so this part will is nothing but my 1 so what is that this is nothing but the mean and the variance of this so this is the way you can derive the mean and variance of this hypergeometric distribution if you find some another videos you can simply follow this link for more updated video till then best of luck students